Hi, in my last video, I looked at the different kinds of financial bond and just did a quick overview. And one of the types of bond I mentioned is a new innovation, which are called mini bonds. So in this video, I'm going to look at a particular mini bond that I like the look of. Now, a mini bond, you're effectively lending money to a small company or an organization. And in return for your loan, you get an IOU and then you receive some interest each year. And then at the end of the term of the bond, you get your initial investment back. Now, the mini bond I'm particularly interested in is coming from a company called Energy Bonds, which is a subsidiary of an Australian company called CBD Energy. And this bond that I like the look of, it's using your money to invest in new solar energy projects in the UK. Now, this bond is a three-year bond. And the minimum investment is £2,000. And then the really exciting bit is the interest rate, which is 6.5% a year. So when you think of the kind of rates that are coming from savings accounts, which are 1% or 2% a year, obviously 6.5% is way better. And you also get the positive feeling from investing in solar energy projects, which have that obviously that green environmental benefit. Now, I'm not suggesting, though, that these mini bonds are as safe as a classic savings account. Things could go wrong with the solar energy projects. But the nice thing about this, this mini bond from energy bonds is that it is a bit safer than a lot of the other mini bonds out there. Because not only is it secured against the solar energy projects, if they all fall apart, the bonds are also secured against the assets of the company, energy bonds. That's the assets and the cash. So there's a greater chance you will get your money back because they can raid the cash, raid the assets to pay out the bondholders if things go wrong. But there's no certainty. And the really important point is, if you have money in a traditional savings account and the bank goes belly up, you can get compensation from the government's financial services compens compensation scheme or the FSCS, and you can get compensation up to £85,000. The FSCS does not apply to these mini bonds, the energy bonds. You won't get your money back. The other big downside for these energy bonds is that um, you won't, your money is locked away for the full three years of the term. There's no secondary market. You can't get your money back early. So you're getting a nice return, 6.5%. You're supporting um, environmental, environmental cause, um, and you're actually not tied in for that long a period, only three years, but you won't be able to get your money out early. So it's a pretty good deal. If you want to find out more, you can go to the Energy Bonds website, which is at energybonds.co.uk. Now, there's another similar project, similar project I just want to highlight. I've actually written about it on the Money Week website a few weeks ago. It's called Abundance Generation. And it's another project, it's another website where you can get a return of around 6.5% and you're supporting solar energy projects in the UK. Abundance, you buy debentures instead of bonds. Very similar to bonds, but just some small technical differences. Your money then goes into solar energy projects you'll get interest of around 6.5%, 6.65% a year, and then you get your money back at the end of the term. But the big difference compared to what you get from energybonds.co.uk is energy bonds is a three-year term with abundance energy on their latest project, it's 19 years. So your money is locked away for a longer period of time. Having said that, with abundance, there is a secondary market, so you probably can get your money back early by selling your bonds onto other investors. Either way, I, like, I think both of these are really attractive projects. Abundance generation is probably a bit riskier um, than energybonds.co.uk, but they're both paying you good interest rates, way better than a normal savings account, and it's a nice, innovative, modern way to get a decent return on your cash. And it's the same with all issues of savings and investments. To get this higher return, you take some higher risk. But I think it'll probably work out really well if you do put your money into either of these projects. So that's it for now. Hope that all makes sense. And uh, I'll see you next time.